thanks for watching. Today, Rubble and Chase are having a special guest over for dinner, so stay tuned to the end of the video so you can find out who their special guest is. But if they want to have someone over for dinner, they of course need to make some food. And we're kids, so what are we going to make food out of? Play-Doh! Woohoo! So, we have three colors of Play-Doh, and we're going to make peas, mashed potatoes, and chicken. Yum! That sounds delicious! What do you guys think? Ruff, ruff. Chase is on the case! Okay, so let's make some Play-Doh food and find out who our special guest is going to be! First, let's take the green Play-Doh and make peas. Do you guys like peas? And take the green and take a little piece and roll it into a ball, just like a little green round pea. Sometimes we don't like to eat our vegetables because they don't taste as good as chocolate sometimes. But sometimes they are delicious and they always help us grow strong. Big muscles help us run fast and make our skin and our hair healthy. So even though sometimes you think, I don't want to eat my vegetables, it's very important. The Paw Patrol, they always eat their vegetables because they need to have because they need to have all the energy to save Chicoletta and Callie and um, the baby elephant and everything. Okay, I think that's enough peas. So that was the green Play-Doh for peas. You could also use it to make broccoli. You could use it to make all kinds of veggies. So we're going to use the yellow for the potatoes. I know potatoes are more white, but this is fun and this is Play-Doh. So we're going to make yellow mashed potatoes. So normally when we have mashed potatoes, they do like a big pile. So why don't we do like a scoop of them, like a big round scoop and roll it into a ball. And then you want to you want to squish them down a little bit so you can put butter or sour cream or some gravy. So squish it a little bit. There we go. So we've got our peas and our mashed potatoes. Now with this brown, it's like color we can make just like a piece of chicken so what about do you guys like the leg like a, a chicken leg a drumstick that would be fun so let's see a drumstick has two parts it has kind of the leg bone and then a round top so let's divide it like this a little bit and start rolling and shaping it just a little bit Squish it down here, make kind of like a flat bottom where there's the two pieces of the bone. And then up here, it's rounded a little bit, kind of looks, that's where all the meat is, right? That's the good part of it. So we've got a nice chicken leg there and we're gonna stick it on there. Uh-oh, I'm afraid if I put it on, Chase and Rubble are gonna eat it up. Don't eat it. Wait for our guest, guys. Okay, that looks like a delicious meal. We have chicken, peas, and mashed potatoes. And just in time, I think our guest is here. Who do you think our guest is gonna be? It's the one and only Hello Kitty. Meow, meow. She loves the food. Meow, meow, meow. Okay, well, we've set it up nice and proper for her. We have our fork and then our spoon and our knife on the other side. So let's gobble up these delicious Play-Doh treats. Yum, num, num, num. Oh, good girl, Hello Kitty, you started with your veggies. Oh, and of course, Rubble and Chase went straight for the chicken. So silly. Okay, guys, if you like Play-Doh and you love to build things with Play-Doh, then come back, hit the subscribe button, and see us again, because we make all kinds of tasty meals with Play-Doh and fun things with Play-Doh, and we always build with our friends. So come back and see us again soon. See you next time.